Welcome back, friends and citizens. The Federation is strong, but it's under attack. And we have some pirates. The red captaincy that is invading one of our systems, as you can see here. Uh, unfortunately. Then we have that thing here. Ah. Uh, the Mammoth Tree Entity. If you were at a live stream, I created them myself. Centered around the greatest of the Mammoth Trees is the network of a culture and people. The Green Jungle Republic. These Mammoth Trees have now found their way to the stars and will traverse it in their organically grown tree starships to spread their seed. The seed of the connected Mammoth Consciousness to other planets. Yeah. Um, and they are... They were meant as some kind of tree joke but it seems like they're really strong now <laughs> and they're yeah i shouldn't have created them they they're beating now one of our allies uh federation members into submission like the democratic swiven cooperative and we cannot help them because we cannot reach them it's a drama i, do, I don't know how we could reach them we could reach them maybe if we could get access to this area of the olossi vestige but the olossi vestige is blocking everyone we could reach them, and that is the plan, basically. The only plan we have if we declare a war on the Chitinic Chain Empire, and then maybe we could go through here. I don't know. Ah, but uh, there is no direct connection if we could pass these guys. But they are surely blocking. No! They, they have not blocked us yet. They are dormant. So, if we could get them and at, an attack on them then and look there's a fleet of the solidarity of peringo yeah and there's an l gate so we could go through the l gates theoretically but that's far too dangerous at the moment so we could maybe pass through that system here here but only while we're at war with the Chitinic Chain Empire, or when we have a truce with a, a truce with the Chitinic Chain Empire. And so, we we basically only have one choice: to help our people. And why not like combine it? I mean, we could could have uh, one more claim here. We could have one more claim here. But the Farina re the Legion is claiming that already. Sus cuts more. And it would not be wise to claim that too. It's just like that. So Dirty of Peringo has claimed a lot. So they will also uh, profit if we can do this. Um, the question is, should we wait until we can control this system too? But then it will be probably too late. But this would be really great to get. I mean, so we're, we're just going to have to start right now. Do it like that. And then the time is now. It's uh, no other way. Let's see. I mean, we have our strike force here. It's here. Maybe let's wait until we have the pirates done. And then we will go for what we need to do. Um, a war against Chitinic Chain Empire to access the Democratic Servant Cooperative to be able to help them. So here we go. This is where we are now. <laughs> and while that, we want to develop our economy, of course, because it's the economy. Uh, yeah, it's it's always the economy. Improved Strikecraft, the next generation of Strikecraft featuring improved avionics, better handling characteristics and more powerful armaments. Uh, like these, these things, these improvements, I really like a lot always. The Citadel would be great to have. Battleships would be great to have. Dura Steel materials. There's no bonus on them, though. There's a bonus on these. No, and only through what Michael Mikhail Koskun can do. Mineral Purification Hubs. Ah, they are, we're not at that point in our economy yet. That's a tragic, sh a tragic thing. Uh, they would be helpful, maybe. Mm battleships also we don't really need them yet i mean i'm split between this 23 months and this 11 months 11 months is much better right so 
Yeah, I mean, let's let's go and try try that. It maybe it will help us with the production. Maybe it will do that because yeah, we we don't have cruisers at the moment, so we may we may go with that anyways and uh, hope for the best. So let's see, let's see what we can do. So there's that. We also want um, if we can have that, like a full a full fleet. And all of that while surviving economically. That's the most important. And we need to control the fact system because, yeah. Let's have a look at the pirates My there. Lost. 700. That's, Station under assault. that's very much not great. Thankfully, we're melting them instantly competitive station engaged we can get access to the auto cannon technology we have the pirate station graded that's great um now we can go back to things and we should d d d d d d d go already to the groundhog world if we can then we have a ship here should build mining stations we have the Eden Traveler, which is assisting research. It should assist research on our most researchy world, the New Eden Complex. And it is. So I really don't want to do away with this here. That requires a science ship. Yeah, I know, the debris here. Auto cannon is what we could get. Let's send our ship over. Perfect alibi, Jackson. You're in this. And that's the hurt the pirates did, right? That's the crazy thing. It cost us a lot more than what they actually did. Yeah, we need to be in place first. I'm not caring for this. Reinforce the fleet. Research actualized. Strike force is soon to be ready. Hostile environment adaptation. 5% more habitability. Further study into the hazardous environments found on other planets help alleviate the difficulties that colonizers encounter in their day-to-day -day lives on foreign worlds. Yeah, uh, that. And now more food processing centers. We don't need them right now. Subterranean colonization. I don't know. We don't need a lot here. Leader level cap, leader upkeep is always useful. So that would be the trump card and that would be the cheap thing that we at the moment don't need. So um, we're just going to go for the collective self here. Leader upkeep minus 10%, leader level cap plus one. What's not to like? Finding aspects of the self within the group is natural and inevitable. Eventually, those shared aspects must be valued higher than individual identities. It's 24 months, but it's absolutely worth it, I think. If we can get that done. Our first speaker has leveled up. Yeah, he's not as great as Immanuel Kant II, but who could be that? Like, who could it be? Um, speaking of consumer goods, we might have to go for more consumer Yeah, we're already doing that. So it's all good. Um, what we also need to do is get... Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, look at that. There's available jobs from the clerks. Hmm. Well, the thing is, we need more people here. I mean, we're already doing that. But we might go for... Oh, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to replace that with a habitation district. And then we'll have available jobs. And these available jobs will have to go... Yeah, we'll, we'll need to do it uh, vice versa, right? First this, and then... Replace this with a habitation district. I mean, in the end, your capital system should should have 
mostly trade later on. That's because that's just really good because it that doesn't have to go through everything. It, the trade is just the income, and that's pretty pretty good. So um, going for something like generator districts, or um, especially in in the ha orbital habitats, is it's just a short term solution. It's it's better to do this long term. Now, let's see, consumer goods. Um, thankfully, we now have the galactic market, so we can buy them also. But we can trade for them too. And that's great because we have so many exotic gases. So uh, we'll trade for them again, if we can do that. Let's see, maybe they don't need that many at the moment, hopefully. How many do, do you have? Oh yeah, they, they have plenty, I can tell. Let's buy a thousand or something. Let's give them some exotic gases. Here we go, Suivan. Yeah, we're coming to your rescue soon, just soon, very soon, hopefully. Mm. We'll have, maybe have to go for one of the planets to be able to do something more, anything more. I mean, we need more people here. Uh, let's add that in, right? Um, and here, yeah, just a short checkup of what we might need. There's some jobs available here. That's fine. Lush Meadows needs something. The planetary administration is very helpful. And then, can we already go for the gene clinics? I think we can, man. I think that's very good to get started with things. It's just that growth push that will that will keep helping us. Oh, let's see that. There's a there's another pirate fleet. At the moment they are taking back stuff with a very good fleet as you can see here. Mm. Strike Force is doing what it can. How about that technology? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've done that. And there is Free Traders, Wixelia. The Onyx Noir versus. Made peace with a Sharpa. Oh my goodness. That's terrifying too. Wow, that's that's really not great. Ooh. <laughs> Research I'm not sure how to react to that. We we have to do more. X-ray lasers. These lasers have a shorter wavelength than UV-based laser weaponry. But even more destructive. We took these lasers to get to get access um, to more uh, energy type research, like the antimatter reactor. That would be so helpful. But the defense grid supercomputer is something we can only have access now. So we have to do it. Have to sacrifice our progress for it. Look, nice. We're at positive consumer goods. I'm so happy about this. You can't imagine how happy. But probably you can. Mm, the Alliance of Autonomous Powers. Citizen Trade, the, another trade, and the Otaga First Church. What kind of. Oh, that's all mega corporations. <laughs> is that a trade league or what is that? It's a galactic union with four members. It's quite, probably quite, quite powerful. And I'm laughing at them. What would they think of us? My goodness. The Senate's in session against what? Uh, yeah, there's the proposal queue again. Let's have a look. Uh, we're, we're okay with that. Everything. 
we won't influence anyone. We we cannot afford to go for the, those pity th petty things. We research actualized. We'll have to go for something else soon. Mineral purification hubs, second stage processing of pseudo refined minerals, allow for more efficient stay storage and transportation. And now, if this comes to mind, and this. Um, Impulse thrusters are also pretty great. I think I want mining station output. It's just the responsible thing to, to go for. Yeah, we'll wait in the groundhog world. Yeah, yeah, that shielded world has has co totally disconnected itself from reality. It's pretty crazy. And I think if we wait long enough, we can even uh, claim that system with a planet on it, in it. Combat detritus reprocessed for a cleaner galaxy. Nice. For a cleaner galaxy. 144 yeah we're gonna wait that out we're gonna wait that out uh what do we have here yeah let's fly it back i don't know could go here to lightweight mountains it's fine what's it with grass of promise need more gene clinics there as well and it's gonna be fine, I think. Here we go. Is it gonna help? Are we gonna reach 10,000 strength? I'm not sure of that. I think I'm not, uh, yeah, now I'm sure. <laughs> cannot afford to reinforce the fleet again hmm. yeah we'll keep clicking how much would we need 144 it was or something like that yeah 144 I fear that we're rapidly approaching the limit of what can be accomplished through democracy meta humans may soon become necessary for the Chitinic chain empire to take more actions yeah likewise <laughs> some more actions is what we prepare <laughs> because we need access to these guys oh look look what's happening now is that true they've shoot that oh whoa season trade collision has vanquished an ancient threat in the distant samdaran system now they are free again but it's, I mean, it's really dangerous. They should send everyone there all the time. Why are they building colony ships at such a time? Come on. The Pollocks are showing psionic potential. Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals of the Pollock species, according to leaked reports from authorities in the Pollock Assembly. What psychic, psychic powers? What a crock. I'm gonna look too much into this. It is, it is uh, unscientific rabble. Oh, city districts, one additional housing. We don't need that at the moment. Creative collectives. By creating a system of autonomous self-organizing collectives to run our factories and schools, we can greatly improve the productivity of our industries. Yes, that's what that's what we want. It's all about the economy. It's all about the economy. All the time it is about the economy. Economy, 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 economy. What's going on here? Oh, we're fine here. Let's build more mining districts. Mm 
a little bit, just a little bit. Piracy suppression is so great. But we would need something here, in fact. And the question is what? Maybe a defense platform. It needs, well, as large as we can, right? Do we have access to <laughs> the nullboid beam has the highest range? Uh, the plasma thrower, hmm. The x ray laser is pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It would be good enough against pirates. What about the improved strike craft? Their range is just so bad. I mean, that's the case. So the X-ray laser gives uh, shield damage, 400% shield damage, 17, 28. Let's combine that. I don't know how good it is or how not good it is. But we have a sapient combat computer for the sake of it. Let's see what we can do with this. And reactor boosters, fire control. I mean, it's plus five. What can it really do? Rather go for the level two reactor boosters, right? Shields and plus steel armor. Hmm. Democratic defense. Mm, and I think we can. Yeah. I mean, we should, but. Look at that. <laughs> they, they cost a lot more. Well, then. We'll have to wait a bit before we can do anything. Mm. But we want the Chitinic Chain Empire to to fall so we can help our friends. So we can have a connection there. What's going on here? Mammoth Tree Entity? Now they're getting owned. That's not good. It's absolutely not good. It's really bad. Huh. Sosta. Brian Hall, you need to give us... Uh, the hope that we can defeat you. I think we're going to do just that because it's getting closer. It's really bad now. And we will need to have... Oh, look, <laughs> we're at level 3 now. At least that. Rare ticks, rare ticks, and more the language of science. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Hmm, how are you guys doing here? Equivalent in a lot. They're superior. Federation of the Future is doing good, but 
we need to somehow get to our friends and help them. And that's the trick we need. Hmm. So we've got Sosa. We don't have Higma, but who cares? <clears throat> It's time to declare a war. We want to conquer all the claims we have. Our allies have 12 claims, we have 10 claims, and we will declare war. We'll vote yes, of course, and uh, please. Please vote yes too, allies. Only our customers best interest at heart. Very nice. So we did that. Uh, and we still have, we have, we still have the old corporate voice, right? <laughs> Look at that. Now the solidarity of Peringo has some pretty good fleets near where we need to be. The trading chain empire has even inferior fleet power to us. So... It's probably a cakewalk, but we'll see. They're coming towards us with that. Really? <laughs> yeah, we have the economy to build, 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 build more and more. And that's the main thing. And there is a swarm. We'll continue here. Fleet is coming. Fleet is at full strength now. And you have reinforcements coming in. Strike! The time to strike is now. Research actualized. Nanite mineral probes. Mining station output plus 10%. These special probes are equipped with swarms of nanites that identify previously unknown mineral concentrations and mark them for later extraction. Oh, we could go for L-gate insights. That's always a thing, right? Hmm. What we really should go for is Durasteel armor. Rail guns. Hmm. Don't need them. L-gate insights. Onyx Noir has some Elgate insights. Battleships could be useful. Exotic gas refineries. Maybe that first. But we don't need them, so it makes no sense. Mm, auto cannons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been there, done that. Let's go for the Elgate insights. Here we go. The best corvette. Is that even a corvette? No, it's a destroyer. Destroyer that is nearly worse than our corvette. Congratulations or something like that. What is that? What has that coming? Three destroyers and one cruiser. Competitors engaged. Let's see. Woo! <laughs> That was something, right? And now, woo, look at that. Resource storage full. Food. Food. Now we can change food, right? We could have some growth. With some more food. Let's encourage a little bit of growth. Just going overboard a bit. There's enough for everyone. Is there? Yeah, there definitely is. So, even for Catastrophia. Everyone gets a package of extra food. 
and now oh, 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 gene clinics yeah they need that on Grunel Prime I mean come on it's a, an irradiated tomb world then we have the lightweight mountains here mm. housing a bit something like that a bit hard to tell do we have anything coming here rare crystals volatile modes volatile modes could be good or something that would really help us out right <laughs> maybe a little bit more trade why not just for yeah just just for the amenities and the and the economy of course and the economy Uh, eliminated some destroyers that's nice now do we have we have a ship here let's see dakota hawkins research these projects um do we have they're moving to quarola oh that's nice so they are already on the move and then we'll quickly fly back catch these systems like have that going and then we'll see what we can do research actualized the collective self finding aspects of the self within the group is natural and inevitable eventually those shares aspect aspects must be valued higher than individual entities we're not so sure about this because we're a democracy but um all in all it's a nice quote yeah the galactic campaigns we, have, we should have done them earlier but we didn't get to them nano vitality crops in the end are pretty useful idyllic architecture gives the paradise dome that we don't need terrestrial sculpting gives terraforming that we don't need deep crust engineering is something we would need in the end and the galactic campaigns as well we don't need that food so direly at the moment but it will be very useful still deep crust engineering we have so much bonus we'll go for that just because it might be that the Onyx Noir might stop the research agreement and then we wouldn't have the bonus anymore, which is why we're taking this right now. They're already moving in. Yeah, kind of research the debris. Something is, <laughs> something is wounded. <laughs> They are moving to 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 repair. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've wanted to them to do. Oh, now, 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 the main force is coming. Seen that? So let's go back. We will wait for them. We will wait for them. In pretty good shape is our fleet. Yeah, Emmanuel Kahn is doing what he can. Uh, need to watch this. Is it? Is it true that Betrius could be something? Look, they're moving to Quarola actually with their with their main fleets. And maybe it would be good to take it to take it just a just a short round tour here. I'm not sure, or maybe just at Bitrius so we can see more where everyone's moving. And then we'll see. I mean, we're already doing it, so. 
Vitreous it is. Come on, melt the station. Uh, what about them? They are a little bit wounded. Hmm. Now let's let's take that tour. I think it's it's now it's okay now. Oh, that's so terrible here. What's going on? There's some new fleets of them. Mm, well, that's okay. That's co contrary to our mission, right? Our mission would be to go over there, and but we need to make sure first that the Paringos are not getting uh, distracted too much. Research actualized. They're moving in here, and where is their fleet? Where have they moved? If that's their fleet. More declared. Another war declared against the merchants of Mtgre. Alvaro Diaz de Tuesta has gained a level. Nice. And the deep cross engineering advances in material technology and deep shaft mining techniques allow geoengineering at previously unthinkable depths and temperatures. Very nice. Um, so, what would we need next? Hypercoms Forum. Is kind of good. Um, the food processing centers are also kind of good. Penal colony we don't need. Subterranean colonization is quick and we get a bonus. Let's do that. A quick flight over there. And then we'll see what we can do. Oh, we're over our naval capacity. Doesn't matter. Research actualized. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're we're not ready for this. It's not good we have the elgate insight intensive study within the fields of nano machinery and subspace phenomena will eventually yield a new elgate insight into the disabled elgate mystery next would be oh 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 allow synth pops to be leaders ah oh, that's the story that's our story cruiser hull points are pretty good but Synthetic personality matrix is what we are here for. It's what we we've dreamt of. Having the ultimate people helping us. Now, now they're taking it on. The Chitinic Chain Empire is gonna see well that other light. Not the light at the end of the tunnel. Research actualized. Ooh, we have some Ruval refugees. They're of course welcome. Subterranean colonization. Many planets exhibit extensive subsurface voids. Subterranean exploration, exploitation, and construction techniques can greatly increase the habitable area of some worlds. Uh, naval capacity. Mm, diplomatic weight is good. But we need we need that. Doctrine interstellar logistics. Naval capacity plus thirty. That's what we want. Amateurs talk about tactics. Professionals study logistics. By ensuring our fleets are regularly and efficiently supplied, we can increase the number of vessels we can effectively support. They're doing what we, what they're supposed to do. Yes, they are. I 
And we have now immense alloys. And the question is, very soon, what we should do about these. I think in New Eden we can maybe start a new habitat, if that is possible. Like for example here, um, we could build a megastructure here, theoretically. We just need a little bit more influence and alloys. And that's why we're sending the Eden Ugun here. Because we'd really enjoy to have that going. That said, now that, that we've seen a bit of the future, <laughs> I'd say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other soon in the next episode when we try to uh, first maybe curb these guys, the Chitinic Chain Empire, and then go process. over and for show the mammoths, what the mammoth trees, what we can do. And that's the Dibris in Rill Somot. A lot of progress was made in autocannons, plasma accelerators, and flak cannons. Really nice. Now go away, Dakota Hawkins. We need you safe in the seas of the Dark Portal. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.